I started this YouTube channel, I didn't expect to make rant reviews or re reviews or rants. But I started this YouTube channel back in 2009, well, 2008, for a good reason. To show you guys what I can show you, what my talents was, what I can do in my videos. So of course, before I didn't have the editing software I have today, which I wish I did. <laughs> but with that being said, uh, hold on. Let me be the insider of my movie, Star Writers: The Beginning. Star Writers: The Beginning is a French. Is it is okay? Let me get this out of the way. I know a lot of people are gonna ask the big, obvious question. Does this have something to do with Star Writer to Star Writer Rising, Star Writer 2000, 2022? And Star Rider 2 bets. Sorry, uh, I have an Alucard ascending. These this has absolutely nothing to do with that. It it's also has nothing to do with the Star Rider franchise. But you're gonna, you're gonna get you know the remaster version pretty soon after I after this month you'll get the remaster version somewhere around late to well uh, you'll get it soon uh, I'll, I'll give you the update of that button but all i just wanted to say is this movie is pretty much the star writer movie i've been waiting to make i've been waiting to do i've been waiting to create so the characters are two people who are been recruited by Special Commander Zahn, well, Zahn Jackson. Let me also assure you, this is not a Power Ranger clone movie, not necessarily. This has what you ex have heard from Power Rangers is a henshin. You know how they say it's morphin' time as a henshin? So in this henshin, it's going to be a little bit more different and a little bit not too much of a Power Ranger clone, so if you think this is a Power Ranger clone, don't worry. This is not a Super Sentai Power Ranger clone. This is nothing like that at all. So just think of it as a henshin meets Thunderbirds. You know, something that's not Star Wars, but Thunderbirds, basically. So either way, that's all my thoughts on that one. So not a Power Ranger clone, nothing like that, but maybe a little inspired by that. But either way, that's all I can say. Zon Jackson pretty much, you know, recruits these two people in a mission to get back the uh, Time Emerald. The Time Emerald really is the MacGuffin that the heroes have to go after and get from the bad guys. Ivan, okay. Bat King Ivan is the villain I've been waiting to make for quite some time. Now, granted, I won't be the only one produce, being the only producer of this movie. Good guys, it's getting hot in here. I won't be the only one that's the producer for this movie. So both Gavin, Crusco, and I guess maybe Billy Ray will be credited as producers along with, you know, certain type of position. But Gavin has, you know, agreed to do a score for his villain and Gavin's not just playing just one villain and I'm not playing just one character I have played a I'm playing a few characters I will I'm not gonna go into details on that but I am playing you know one of the Batfoot soldiers um, my main character I play is TJ Terrence James Crusco's character is playing Gina. So I've been. So, yes, there was supposed to be a third main character, but unfortunately, due to one of my other actors' is, um, schedule, I had to cut this character and have it just be 
only about two, which you don't really get quite that much often. But all I just want to say is the action is something you need to watch. You scaly son of a bitch. The action is really groundbreaking, you know, entertaining as hell. It's really something we put together all by ourselves. You know, I did the fight coordination. They gave me some suggestions of certain things. You know, it was very, well, here's the thing. It's not, a, the, the main plot of the film, well, not the main plot, but the main message of the, of the film is mostly a more important thing and that is teamwork so yeah that's the reason why i also have the um tagline a new dream a new dream team so that's the reason why i have that tagline but either way you know i, I everything about this movie is coming out of my pocket you know filming in george's island that's coming out of my pocket uh, filming in certain other different locations. So if you're wondering, we have we shot in the same locations we've shot before? Yes, and a little bit no. Some locations where we are doing, we, we, we're already done, like the whole George's Island thing. Once we film that scene, you know, we'll have everything, you know, up and running. You know, you'll get, you know, more, you know, scenes, you know, in the trailer. So yes, there will be another trailer for this film pretty soon. I don't think the George's Island thing is going to be in the trailer, but trust me or not, we plan on releasing this on the 21st of this month. So don't worry, we have enough time. We have Crisco's final scene will be on the George's Island and a couple other things, but. Also with Gavin and my new actor, Dylan, you know, we still need to film their scene, you know, where they, you, you'll see what I'm talking about, but I don't want to give any spoilers, but all I can just tell you is this is a really great action movie. Not just, you know, all out action, there is some type of substance, there is some type of, you know, you know, substance in the film, basically. So like I said. The whole goal about the whole goal and message I'm trying to show is teamwork and like I said, teamwork makes the dream work. But either way, you know, a couple of things you know you'll see. Now, for this movie, stay for the after credit scenes and we so so there'll be both a mid credit scene and it'll be an after credit scene, you know, in the video. Now, how long will this video be? We don't know. Um, I put a couple of scenes together. It's, so far, we've gone up to 30 something minutes, around 30 something minutes, because don't forget, we still have other things we have to film and put together. So, don't worry, you know, you guys don't have to worry about paying anything or seeing any ads. You'll get the video itself. You know, so don't worry, you know, you, you'll st you still get the good stuff from me. You'll still get your bloopers. You'll still get your, um, uh, what else? Uh, oh yeah, you'll still get the behind the scenes. Because, fortunately, <laughs> Gavin's girlfriend, you know, and also Gavin, along with a few others, did some behind the scenes of our movie. So I don't know if it's going to be on their channel. I don't know if it's going to be on my channel, but I mean, whatever they can email me, uh, you'll see it. But either way, you know, the Star, Star Riders, the beginning, is a film I've been waiting to make for quite some time. So when you get that film, hopefully, now if possible, we'll have to, if we have to push back the release date of this film, let's just say we have to push it back to the 28th or somewhere around the uh, somewhere around August you know it will happen but either way always want to let you know 
we worked really hard on this one. We really worked really hard on this one. It's just something I'm really passionate about. That I put my heart, soul, and passion. And you heard me say the same thing before, but either way, you're gonna get something really good. So with that being said, you know, I didn't want this to be a long video. So don't worry, more videos are gonna come for me pretty soon. I am gonna do a video on good old Mr. Black Blackbuster Critic after this video. So after this sun this uh, during this Sunday, you'll get that video, or either Sunday or Monday, you'll get that video. And don't worry, it won't be a rant. It'll be where where are they, where they were before, and where are they now. So you can call it before and after. Yes. So with that being said, Alex Holiday, outro. Yo, Steve Bloom here, Voice of Spike Spiegel. Remember to subscribe and get vertical.